Bro. Authorized personnel. Authorized personnel. What's personnel? <laughs> Okay, so we are right here exploring the track after the Singapore Grand Prix weekend and yep, everything's taken down so we'll just uh, run you through what, how it looks like when it's not the 20th to 22nd September So yep, this is the paddock entrance and as it turns out, they barricaded the entire place You can see the motorhome is still up but they are taking it down I think that's why they are barricading the entire place but yep, I was there so here it is, the pit entry but yep, they barricaded the place again oh wait wait, <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> oh work site, no entry we'll try to go around it So, so weird. So weird and so quiet. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh my god. <laughs> that's the that's the start of it. So this is where the final two corners, the double left hander the street this is what it looks like behind the main grandstand and yeah, look you're taking down everything so yeah i haven't got to introduce javier here hi who's wearing my <laughs> thanks for the promotion <laughs> you guys watching the videos to get on <laughs> So it's amazing how like three weeks and it, it, it all came, comes out to this. But you know, I wonder how it looks like after 2021. What will they do to this place? Man, I hope they extend it. Please. Or Formula E probably. You can see the garage there. If y'all been to the race weekend in Singapore and don't know how it's like after that, this is what it looks like after this. I mean, for maybe like a month, everything uh, after that everything will be just be flat. I'll try to come here like next month and see, show you how it looks like. What? So they're going to do it tonight? Nope, the race is three yeah, weeks yeah. ago, kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's three weeks ago. Authorized personal. What's personal? <laughs> Which is mentally? Wait, I can't remember which part of the circuit is this. After what? All oh, right. Yep. 
<laughs> but that's just not <laughs> the only downside these cars are going at like what 80 yeah. 60 around there it's like a ghost town it was just like that Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio And now it's like nothing There's nothing left Where should we go? Ferrari fan boys. <laughs> Anything you like to say before quality starts? No? Wow, look at that. I'll pause the video right here and maybe just tell you that I'm just gonna commentate what's gonna happen in this race and yeah let's just begin this so I qualified P6 and the guy in front of me that his name is Adit and you see me diving down the his inside the turn one yeah, we both went into the semi-finals knowing that uh, the top four right there are very, you know, like near professionals. They're very good drivers and they're very committed to e-racing and that leaves us at the back. Just doing stupid battles doing dives. Just dive bombing each other. And yeah, that's my stupid race face. If y'all don't know. And yeah, basically the whole race is just this diving each other side by side, and yeah, the camera is mostly towards us because we are the only ones that were like wheel to wheel throughout the race. And yeah, then I did we went to the inside again, but went white, so I you know managed to do the switch back and overtake him again. I do know there are actually people behind us. There's Eight, eight drivers so yeah I went yeah 100 meters plus away and I still dive down the inside and got the move done <laughs> and throughout the race you, just, you see me pressing the rear view the rear view button <laughs> because you don't know when you're just gonna dive and that's me again doing another dive but I went wide that time this was towards the end of the race and you see me just losing so much time here and from there Adi is just pulling away and yeah finished P6, qualified P6 so we don't lose any position so that's a that's a good this upside and now yeah we're gonna do the second part of the track walk where we discover sector 2 and sector 3 of the track after the weekend <laughs> okay so uh, the race is over and I'm out and I finished six out of the eight drivers in the semi-finals. But yeah, <laughs> nothing much to say actually. You will see like the highlights. It's like yeah, you've already probably seen the highlights. And I'm just doing another walk around the Singapore street circuit after the Grand Prix. And we are just trying to get into the Padang area there. So Let's see how it looks like after the Grand Prix. So this part of the track is where after they have been, that new DRS zone before the right hander there. So yeah, you can see what it looks like without the barriers, without the 
you know, the F1 banners. It's, it's just the Esplanade Theatre, so nothing more than that. So, yeah. So, this is. According to Shaka, it's exactly where Russ, George Russell crashed. the underpass so this is the padang where the concerts happen also you're turning that direction yeah that direction and towards the the singapore ceiling corner and behind here used to be all the the merch the track uh, the pit stop challenge the simulator challenge but now it's just a it's like a road and behind it is just a like like a park. Nothing much actually. You can just go there. Go. Yeah. That's actually about it. Like this is literally it. You can't do anything here besides if you want like do what the dudes there are doing, like picnic. <laughs> Which actually no one does. <laughs> so yeah, this is the that, this part of the track now is covered. This is the Singapore Sling. As you can see, just yeah, just a bridge. You can just go through here. We're going through it. should be right in front so yeah the end of the Anderson Bridge it it's the hairpin which is right here flat light is the one So yes, it's you turning into the big grandstand and just right here. And do note how they change the line a bit from 2018 to 2019 if you notice. That line there. It's uh, the 2018 layout and they make it like slightly more narrower I think into the Bay Grandstand so let's go there now so here it is the Bay Grandstand I think the the highest seated area of the track 25,000 people and yeah it's, this is all painted on so it isn't actually a curb And yeah, there was the, it was a screen right here, yeah, yeah it's a, a screen and after the Grand Prix weekend it'll just be a football field, a weird football field. <laughs> See here's the football field and the entry curve into the into the corner and into the tunnel and after that tunnel is where Valtteri Bottas crashed in FP1 so yeah this is basically how it looks like as a whole without the barriers without the fans without the cars it's, it's just it's just like that for like the rest of the year the tunnel. This is not part of the trip, but 
<laughs> yeah, this is where what it looks like in the Helix Bridge towards the MPS. So the track there. And the Fullerton Hotel ahead. The skyline right in front. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video and I just want to take this opportunity to apologize because uh, it's like I just want to apologize because I'm actually planning to upload this video and finish editing it before Christmas last year and now it's like 11th of January and I just finished uploading it so yeah and the second thing I want to apologize to you about is how like you know I still feel a bit weird around the camera after even though I've been like you know recording myself during the Singapore Grand Prix so that's still something I want to get used to something I need to improve on and yeah also my video editing skills is still a bit scrappy it's a bit you know there's still a lot of room for improvement so yeah Hope you enjoy it. It's a very last minute sort of like a run of idea of what kind of motorsport content I want to do in Singapore and figure out that's like one of the things I want to like show because not really everyone managed to see how the track looks like when it's not the race weekend. And yeah, hopefully we'll come up with more motorsport content and yeah, subscribe.